I've got a story for you. It's about a young boy called Liam who's just turned seven years old and he gets so excited when his cousin comes over to play. They're the same age, they like the same things, so they just play so well together. Now a couple of hours before his cousin arrives, Liam spends time setting up all his toys. He's got his race cars out, he's got his action figures out, and when his cousin finally walks through that door, it's literally like go, go, go. There's no stopping them. They're racing each other, they're fighting the baddies together, they're imitating their favorite superheroes together. Like it's a lot of fun. And this time, Liam's cousin has come with a new special move that he says that he learned at home. He says that it brings you extra firepower. So obviously Liam's interested. So his cousin shows him how you do it. He says that it's easy. All you gotta do is get your hand, we put it inside each other's trousers, we close our eyes and we rub for 10 seconds. And the final part of the special move is that you must make sure it's kept a secret, otherwise it won't work. So Liam's obviously keen. I mean, who wouldn't want extra firepower, right? Now a couple of years pass. Liam has now just turned nine years old, but his cousin doesn't come round to play as often as he used to. But his younger sister is now of an age where she can get involved in the games. So Liam teaches her how to play superheroes, introduces her to the special move and lets her know that it must be kept a secret otherwise it won't work and the game continues. The game continues for years without any adults around ever noticing that it's going on. The secret of the special move keeps it well hidden. You've got three children there that are none the wiser. They don't really understand that this is a game that they shouldn't play. So, how do you feel about the situation that I've detailed here? Do you ever think about inappropriate touch being children on children? I wonder who taught Liam's cousin the special move in the first place? Do you think if we could get every single child educated on the rules around private areas on a continuous basis, then we would make one massive step towards the prevention of these situations continuing? Let me know what you think. Thank you.